Today I wanna show you guys two ways that I've been doing my hair all summer long. I get so hot and sweaty so easy that I love having my hair slicked back. Now some of you really like it and you've commented, I love your hair back like that. Joel loves my hair being slicked back. Some of you really hate it and you have let me know. You're like, please stop doing your hair like that. That looks painful. We, You look like a drowned rat. Like, it's okay. This is not for everybody. <laughs> These hair days are not for everybody. For me, I love it. Even my sisters, my sister Julie, she's like, I love when you do your hair like that. She's like, I could never get away with it. I think you might be surprised. When I slick my hair back, I never go barefaced. If I don't have makeup on, yes, I do look like a drowned rat. So I like doing this when I don't have time to do my hair, but I do have time to put a little bit of bronzer on at least. So this is my hair air dried. It's a little frizzy. It's just like whatever. Actually, I really don't mind it. <laughs> but if you're wanting to get your hair out of your face and if you want a little more polished look, what I really like doing, and you can do this, I like doing this with Olivia's hair. What I like to do, oh, I can't believe I'm gonna spray this water in front of my shutters. I don't really have another place in my house to do this. I like to get my hair, I spray down the front of it really well. I take a fine toothed comb and I comb it up so there are no flyaways, especially around my ears. I don't use gel in my hair when I do this, but if you have untamable hair, then yes, you can put some gel in it to help keep those flyaways away. So, I dampen it down quite a bit, and your arms are gonna go numb. My arms already are. And I like to just slick that up away from my face. Oh, it like seriously feels better already. And it doesn't matter how dirty your hair is, it doesn't matter how like frizzy it is. If you can take the time, oh, oh. <laughs> if you can take the time to um, get it up there, slicked up there in a pony, you're gonna be good to go. I always get the back too, because I have a lot of little curlies back there. But I'm not gonna worry about it for this tutorial. Okay, so I like to get it nice and high on the crown of my head. And honestly, if you are wanting just like a pony, you can kinda, and I've done this many times too, like I'll just hairspray it out nice and big. And I kinda like that too. But for this tutorial, I just twist it, and I twist as I go. And it is gonna be a smaller bun, but I like that. I mean, I have a tutorial where I um, show you a bigger bun, and I can make sure to leave that linked in the video for you. Um, but this is just a more sleek, tight bun. And once you get your bun, you can pinch it and pull it so that it kind of has a cute shape. And that is literally all I do. I do take my comb when I'm finished. You can see like it pulls your hair funny directions. I like to take the comb, make sure it's nice and smooth. And I'm not spraying in front of these shutters because I don't want to have to clean that off, but I do go through and I spray it really well to make sure that those flyaways stay away. Just like that. And I don't know, I just feel like with bronzed, tan skin, my hair up in a bun, I just feel very pretty like this. Um, and it's not for everybody. I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh, like I would never slick my hair back. But if you put on a big pair of earrings, especially gold, I feel like this is just a fun, fresh look. And I wear this the all summer. You guys watch my videos. I, I wear it all summer long. So this is one of the options. For my second hairdo, what I like to do is start with my hair very wet. And since I'm going to be putting it back, I like to put conditioner in it. I use both conditioners. This is Purology Hydrate, and this is Redken Curvaceous Conditioner. It's a leave-in conditioner. Any conditioner you have works. This is just what I have. This is what I use. So I load up the ends of my hair with conditioner. I may as well be conditioning my hair while it's back doing nothing else. So I like to just load it up with some conditioner. I've been doing my hair like this 
for so many years. What I like to do is take a comb and I do a very deep part. So I come over here to the edge of my eyebrow and I go straight back and to the side. So there should be a big diagonal across my forehead. And I basically, I take my comb and I just start smoothing it over to the side. And down the back and down on this side. And it works best when your hair is wet. I would, I've never even tried this when my hair is dry because my, I have little bangs, I have little flyaways. And this right here, I've got these weird little baby hairs, so I try to pull it down and back to hide those baby hairs, and then also around my ears. When I really don't, when I, if I really want this to look nice, I will put some gel right around my ears because I have those baby hairs that like to stay up. So I gather it in the back, and I just do a low pony, and I take my flat hand, and I slick it back. I don't know why this feels so funny, like showing you this. I don't know, I guess I just feel like I'm being judged so much, but it's okay, it's okay. If you don't like it, that is really just fine. Um, your arms will also go numb, and I like to just, once I use the comb, take my hand and smooth it down. I guess in my head, I feel like people are like, why does she have to have it so slick and so tight? I don't know, I just do, otherwise my hair won't stay. Once it's in the pony, then I'll go through with my fingers behind the comb and really perfect the smoothness of the hair, if you will. This one's super fast and super easy. I'm gonna turn to the side so I don't directly spray my blinds, and you just give it a nice, good, spray down. This is Bedhead Masterpiece, and I've used this for a little while now. I love that hairspray, it smells like Smarties. And then you can do what you want with this. Um, I do the exact same thing, I just twist it. And to be honest, I don't even know what the back looks like. I just twist it and get it out of my face. I don't have to look at it, I guess. Take another hairband, and I secure the back like that. And that is it. And again, when I do this look, I like to have makeup on and I like to have earrings on. Whether you have these big earrings or little earrings, I definitely like to have some earrings. I feel like it, um, I don't know, makes me feel a little more comfortable. So these are my two go-to looks. And this is how I get them so smooth. I guess that was my question that I got most was, how do you get your hair so smooth? That is how I do it. Thanks for watching these two simple summer hairdos. Ooh, that was fun to say. Two simple summer hairdos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.